Hey everyone, it's Kate, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience at Bufferfest 2015, which was on October 23rd in Toronto. And so basically, I went with Emily and some of Emily's friends and like Emily's friends' cousins. And we didn't actually know how to get to Roy Thompson Hall. So we got a little bit lost on the way. And then we were near Hotel, which was the Royal York. We saw someone and then we were like, wow, he looks fancy. And then we realized it was actually Sawyer Hartman. <laughs> and we didn't actually say hi to him or anything, but like we saw him. And it was like, it was really crazy. And we asked the doorman for directions, but while we were waiting for the doorman to come back and bring somebody else who actually knew where we had to go, we saw Matthew, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but I'll put it on the screen here. And he was vlogging and he was like, we're going to prom. And we were in his vlog. I watched it and we were there. So I'll put the link down below for that. And we also saw Fun for Louie walk out of the hotel and vlog too. So maybe we'll be in his vlog. And if we are, I'll put that link down below too. And then we finally found out where we had to go to get to Roy Thompson Hall. And then we walked there and we got to the red carpet and like, we got the perfect spot because there was a section at the end where there's no barricade but there's still security guards standing in front so it was like you could still go there and there was like no one standing there so we just stood there and so when like people would come over we could hug them and stuff and so the first person that came to meet us was Sawyer Hartman so like we'd seen him earlier right but we don't know if he saw us so hopefully he didn't because that might be a little weird and we were kind of freaking out, but he probably saw us. And he was really, really nice, and he went, like, to each person and made sure to get a selfie with everyone. I was really flustered because, like, my camera was turned around, and I was trying to turn it around, and I was pressing it, it wasn't working. He was like, oh, that's okay, I don't care, it's fine. And I was, it, he was really, really nice, and I'm really glad I got the opportunity to meet him. Because and then after that, we see Timothy DeLaghetto coming down. And he was like dancing and talking and him and Matthew actually were dancing to Hotline Bling and like it was crazy it was so funny and he took selfies with us too and he was really really nice as well after that um, we saw Rach loves and like I don't think anybody really knew who she was but Emily really really liked her so like when she was about to go inside Emily yelled Rachel and she came back and walked directly to Emily and hugged her and we had this whole conversation with her and she was so so sweet and I'm so glad I met her and then after her <sighs> we see fun for Louie again and like I don't watch his vlogs every day but I think he's a really cool guy and it's like crazy to meet him and I actually got a hug from him and the girl next to me was so so sweet and she actually took like multiple videos of me meeting people so I'll put in a video here so here's a here's a video of me hugging Louie yeah. <laughs> oh. that's very, that's very cute. and then I actually also got a selfie with him too so and I'll put that girl's Twitter down below because I think you guys should really follow her because she's such a nice person and she really did not have to do any of that at all, but she did anyways. And then, here comes basically one of the highlights of the night. The reason I basically wanted to go was to meet PJ. And, well, that happened. I met PJ! I have like a ton of pictures because I told Emily to take a bunch of pictures for me so yeah and the girl next to me also filmed that so here's the video of that hey, how's it going? Yeah, yes, hey. oh. <laughs> this is a it's a video is it a video? yeah say hello oh. say hi say hi oh. <laughs> just take a screen grab of that or something I love you so much oh thank you very much oh, oh she's yeah, yeah I know look <laughs> And then also, I didn't actually get a selfie with him, but like you can see in the video, we were talking to the camera. And then I got a few pictures that Emily took.
and they're really really cute and I was really really nervous and he was just so sweet about everything and like as he was walking down I saw Sophie and I was shaking but I still waved to her so it was kind of like a <laughs> wave and she was like it's okay you're gonna be okay everything's okay it's and then after I met PJ and talked to PJ and he was like taking selfies with other people, she came over to me and she talked to me and we have a video together here. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys That's so good. much. It's a video. Oh, is it? Yeah, say hi. <laughs> Hello. We are the best And it's all a bit cold. Oh. Yeah. A little bit, just a little bit. I don't know what else to do with this. DJ. I'm just gonna magically disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye. And I'm just so, so glad that I met Sophie and PJ because I love them so much and I'm so proud of them for everything that they're doing. And it was just like, it was a dream come true and I just can't believe that that happened. And then after PJ, right after PJ, of course, you have to hit me with another one of my favorites. So I'm just freaking out even more. And it was Hazel Hayes. And I actually got to tell her like how much I love her and Jody's cover of Dream a Little Dream of Me. And she was very, very sweet. Here is a video. Oh, <laughs> oh, when you and Jody sang Dream a Little Dream. That was like my favorite song. Thank you so much. Thanks. Actually, that was my great aunt Eileen's favorite song. She passed away recently. It's so really sweet that she like enjoyed. Let's have a different girl. Let's have a different girl. How are you? What's your name? I'm Kate. Kate, it's lovely to meet you, Kate. What do you do? You're studying, presumably, in school. Yeah, you're so cool. Awesome. What do you want to be? And then after, she actually went inside, and then she came back outside, and she was like, and we were right near the door, so we were right near her, and we could see her, and she was like, hey guys, sorry, I forgot to vlog, and she was like, I actually went inside, had a little cry, and then I came, I came back out and I wanted to vlog because I forgot to vlog. So then she vlogged and that was, that was so nice. She was very, very nice and just as nice in person as I always thought she would be from watching her videos. So that's really nice. I'm really happy about that. After that, we meet Swazi and I didn't like really, really know who he was, but I was like, I, I had heard of him before and he had this really awesome bow tie. And I was like, hey, I love your bow tie. And he was like, hi, I love your face. And it was just like knocking me down with all my favorites right near each other. I met Megan, Strawberry17, who I've been watching for years. And it was just such a crazy moment. And I also have a video of that, which you can see here. We need body heat. It's so cool. I've been watching you since like you and Jerry and Kat did like the team.com. Oh my gosh, it's a long time. You took me through all my horrible hair uh, I cried when you got a million subscribers. Oh, thank you for being a part of that. I cried. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. It took long enough, right? Do you want a picture? Okay, nice to meet you finally. Are you guys from around here? Yeah? Sort of. Yeah. Around like just outside. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go inside. And that was just like such a crazy experience. I'm so happy that I met her. She was so nice. She was just as nice in person as I thought she would be from her videos too. And that was it was so lovely. I'm I'm so happy. After Megan, we saw these two cute little kids, and we were like, hmm, I don't know who they are, but they're so cute, so we had to get a picture. And it turns out it's Johnny O. Sings and his sister. So yeah, they're really cute kids, and I'm really glad I met them. We all were like, oh, you're so cute, you guys are the cutest. That seemed to make them really happy, and it, that was so nice, so yeah. And then... <laughs> 
Miles J walks down and everyone's like, whoa, you look good. And I told him he looked amazing and he was like, wow, thanks girl. And we took a selfie together. And and that was a really bad impression of Miles J. I'm so sorry for butchering Miles J. And yeah, he was so nice. And our selfie together is super cute. So I'm very happy about that. I totally forgot that Sabrina, who's nerdy and quirky, was going to be there. And I see her walking with her friend. And she was about to go inside, actually. And I was like, Sabrina! And she turned around and she came right up to me. And she hugged me and asked my name. And we took a picture together. And there's, there's this cool kid in the background who's like doing a peace sign, if you can see that. And I don't know who he is, but I think he's a YouTube channel. So if you guys could tell me who that is, that would be cool. Because <laughs> I want to know who he is. He was cool. He was nice. We talked a little. And then Tobuscus came. And, and Patrick was being rushed inside, so we actually didn't have enough time to take a picture. Emily got one with him, though. But... I did get to hug him, which was really nice, and I told him that his makeup tutorial rocked my world, and he was like, bless. That was such a good moment, like, little 12-year-old me, or like, however old I was watching his videos, it was a while back. And like, I still watch them, but like, I, I was a huge fan, would be like, screaming. So that's like, everything that actually happened at the event, and then after... I posted some pictures on my Instagram and Hazel Hayes actually commented on my picture so that was really cool. I was retweeted my picture too. Sabrina also tweeted me. That was really really nice of everyone. If there's any vlogs that we're in I'll link them down below. I know we're in Matthews. We might be in some more. There were a lot of people vlogging. It was really cool being there and hopefully one day we'll be there on the red carpet. That would be such a cool thing. And maybe next year we can go to some panels and screenings and stuff. This was super last minute and like I didn't even think we were going to get to go. But then we got to go and that was really cool and everything was just awesome. And it's my first experience meeting a YouTuber and I couldn't have asked for anything better. So I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my buffer fest experience video uh like this video if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more videos from us i have a sister that's usually here sometimes most of the time and we do like challenges and vlog type videos and emily's also in the collab channel called we never sleep so i'll link hers down below if you and comment if you have anything cool to say. Let me know if you went to Buffer Fest or if you've been to any YouTube conventions, what was like. Especially, let me know like if you've met PJ or Hazel or Megan and like your experience was similar to mine because I really want to know. See you next time. Bye!